Okay, you know, of all the things we've probably talked about today, this is the most important of anything, because this is something that really causes trouble, and most people do not know this. But these are our dyno headers. They're mild steel. Uh, they're coated on the outside, and they look pretty good. But what happens with a mild steel header is it rusts on the inside. So I'll show you. This has been sitting for about a week or two since we ran them last, but I'm going to tap them on the floor and see what comes out. How about that? You see all that there? Unbelievable, huh? Well, that's not a big deal, right? Well, yeah, it is, because most people don't realize this, but when you crank your engine up, when it's idling, if it cranks up, it just chugs the life. All of a sudden it's running. Everything that's in that header goes all the way back in the engine, goes up and down with the rings, it goes up into the intake manifold. If it's got a carburetor on, it'll be on the underside of the throttle plates. Okay? A lot of people don't know this, but believe me, it happens. If you if you had a mild steel headers and you crank the motor up, just chug it to the light, turn it off, take the carburetor off, you'll see rust in there. So what that does is it's going up and down with the rings and everything, it scratches the bores up. You guys wonder, well, why, I clean this engine really good, why are the bores scratched up when it comes, you know, when I took it apart? Well, a good bit of it is what happens when you first crank it up with a mild steel header. So there's one way you can maybe make things a little better if the headers have been on it and sat for two weeks. You give it a little, before you crank it, you give it a little fuel, hold the carburetor about half open, and when it cranks up, it immediately goes to like four or five thousand. You know, you think, oh, it's hard on the motor, and I don't care. You know, but what it cares about is rust going up and down with the rings. It does not like that at all, believe me. And, um, and you, you think, well, how does it get through here? How does it go back? Well, when you put a big camshaft in the motor, both valves are open at the same time, Manifold's got vacuum, it pulls it through. And um, we actually did a test when we had the infamous uh, finger in the port thing, where we were doing some of those things, but we, we drilled a hole in a header down about here, and down in the bottom, we, and we let we cranked one up and we let it idle, and we had a glass port where we could watch the intake port when it was running. It was, one, you know, one runner was clear. We had a flashlight looking at it, we, we started an oil can down, we started squirting oil in the header. And after about five seconds, that oil was coming up the port, going up to the carburetors. You could see it in the, in the mist in there, the oil, every time it went doo -doo 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 -doo, like this. So that oil started out the bottom of the header, it went all the way through, went through the engine, went up to the end of the manifold, same as the rust would. Okay? So, um, a lot of times the, the assembler, the engine builder, the guy who owns the block, the people who make the pistons, they all get, they all get uh, blamed for these scratched up boards and stuff. 